two box Tesla coil with 6000 volts that creates this cool arc. I mean, come on. Welcome back, I have here a mini Tesla coil from AliExpress. It comes with little halogen bulb. Here is power input and little on off switch. Secondary coil with copper wire exposed for those arcs. This is standard halogen bulb for demonstrations. Make sure to subscribe. But before I start, let me tell you about my friends at PCBWay. They have best prices and quality in industry. And on top of this, PCBWay delivers. And I'll say it again, they deliver no matter what. You can also design your flexible PCB or rigid flex board. There are many settings to choose from. For example, board type, layers, solder mask or even surface finish. If you're in market for flexible PCB, definitely check them out. I'll be using my new power supply that came from eleshop.eu. Link is in description below and also here. Alright, so what is better than one Tesla coil? Exactly two Tesla coils. This one is identical and will be used as backup. Let's connect DC power to one of them from a new power supply through these leads and barrel connector. Coils are rated from 9 to 12 volts with on and off switch and on position and control voltage flow where my power supply. So let's start at 3 volts. Nothing. I'll increase it and at 5 volts Tesla coil turns on. There is no arc, but it works as seen here. I can light up this halogen bulb wirelessly. Electrical field that Tesla coil produces excites the gas and bulb, therefore it lights up, dependent on position and distance. Alright, let's increase the voltage to 7 volts. Oh yeah, I can see tiny arc on end of the copper wire. Let's try 10 volts. Light is stronger and arc is larger. Just look at it. Voltage produces can be calculated as one centimeter large arc equals about 30,000 volts. At 12 volt input we have about 2 millimeter long arc that is 6,000 volts output. Also this coil messes up with nearby electrical devices, so yeah. But just look at this electrical arc, at worth 2 bucks for sure. Here, arc again at 7 volts, then 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 volts. Arc maxes out at about 13 to 14 volts. As you see, it is powerful, it burns my gloves. So, next thing to test is larger light bulb, same halogen type. Let's try. Oh yeah, it's on. Beautiful. Even at 5 volts, 5 volts is USB power by the way. Super cool. Next I'll try two coils and electricity transfer. One coil part on and if I bring second closer it should yes light up. It is tuned to same frequency so it can receive energy but receive only. As you see bulb is not lit near second coil. 
Next logical thing is to measure output with multimeter. So here we go. About 1.3 volts. Again, it depends on orientation and distance. Oh shit, look how it messes with my multimeter. Multimeter is linked in description below. It is smart multimeter from Kai Weeds. Now let's see what it can take. Starting at 24 volts, all works nicely. Increasing to 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 volts. It is dead at 30 volts. Smoked. Tesla coil is cooked. There wasn't much of an increase in power from 12 volts, so I'll stay with 12 volts max. It is fun to play with such things. Perhaps I will build something bigger in the future. For now, thanks for watching and see you next time.